Can Singapore be done on a budget? This is doing Singapore backpacker style. As we're on a budget, we've spent the last two days finding free things to do here in Singapore. In our last video, we explored some of the famous sites here, from the Botanic Gardens to the Gardens of the Bay. And in this video, we will be showing you some more fun and budget-friendly things to do here in Singapore, from eating out to watching the Spectra Water Show. This is our second day out in Singapore. As I would have said in the last video, I started to feel quite ill yesterday. Um, and after we went to the Botanic Gardens last night, I was really ill. So we had to go back to the hostel. It's just completely wiped out. Sickness, fever, I don't know what I had. I'm feeling a little bit better now than what I did. So I don't know if it's 24 hour bug or what. It's very strange. We're gonna go try some street food today, but I'm not gonna try that much. I'll just have simple stuff because the stomach I needs to keep it. I need to keep it simple. So Soph's gonna be trying all the street food today, I think. Just trying to find the area with the street food. As you can see, the weather's not that great today. We're ordering one chicken tikka masala, one butter chicken, one plain naan, and one plain rice. How much was this coke as well? Tip, three, yeah, three fifty. I, I misheard you. I thought you said one forty. Three dollars fifty. Mental. Right, so I got chicken tikka masala. I think you like it. This chicken is like proper, like tender chicken, like cooked. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's very tender and soft. Like. I'm a little bit worried. Bad, 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 bad. Yeah, it probably wasn't a good idea getting a curry. <laughs> you thought it was going to be mild? No, it's actually right. it is quite mild. It's yeah, alright. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not spicy. As long as it's not spicy. It's not spicy. It's actually a bit alright. Street food is the best way to eat while you're here. This is our hostel. 18 pound each per night is what we're spending on this hostel and it's for a dorm. But they're double bed dorms, which is good. You have a couple. But it's not too bad, it's not too bad. Thank you. Thank you. So we've just come from Little India to have our street food and now we are at our next stop today. This is Haji Lane. This is another completely free thing to do while you're here. It's sort of little shops, boutiques, uh, restaurants, bars. So yeah, let's take a look. Marina Bay Sands, we're going to watch the light show there, so let's go! And 
we're here at Marina Bay. setting now over the bay, it's a nice view of the sky, the skyline with the skyscrapers. Um, we're just going to go to Helix Bridge now, which is a cool uh, tourist attraction here, it's just a bridge that looks like DNA. shopping centre, if you look underneath, it's like a whole, all that water is just dropping down to the middle of the shopping centre. <laughs> That'd be well fun to jump in. We are here at Clark Way in Singapore. So we read online that this is a good place for nightlife, restaurants, bars. So let's take a look around. Let's go. Roasted chicken kebab wraps from 7-Eleven. Three 
dollars forty each, which is about one pound eighty. So mm -hmm. way cheaper because we were looking at least at least ten, eleven pound each over there for some food. So we decided to do a cheap alternative and go seven eleven and buy some food. So a microwave, heat food up. <laughs> this is doing Singapore backpacker style. Backpacker style. <laughs> I'm a 7-Eleven wrap. Is it hot? It's quite hot. Lemon chicken with rice, and it was five dollars. What would you guess, though? Um, pork slices and something else. Some other kind of thing on it. I can't remember what it says. And some chicken soup. Yeah, I got a soup with mine as well. So I think it's some sort of soup. But yours was how much? Five dollars. Five dollars. So not bad. It's about three pound each. So six pound both of these meals. Very cheap for Singapore. Mine's also very tasty. Tastes like the uh, lemon, chi lemon chicken I get from the Chinese back in England. We hope you enjoyed it. We really wanted to do Singapore on a budget and I think we succeeded. Let us know in the comments, when you go to Singapore, do you do it on a budget or do you go all out and spend big? We're actually leaving Singapore in the next video. Let us know in the comments where you think we're going next. Hit a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe if you're not already and we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, so we landed in Singapore last night and we're gonna be going around trying to find what the most affordable slash free things to do 